Hi, I'm Ward Bell, here for Breeze.js to give you a quick tour of DocCode, the code sample companion to the Breeze online documentation. I'll show you how to build it and run it using Visual Studio 2012. Breeze.js doesn't require Visual Studio. It's a JavaScript client library, so you can write apps in your environment of choice. But to see Breeze work, you need a data service, and DocCode comes with an ASP Web API service running in IIS Express and we'll use Visual Studio to build and run it. So here's the one project. It happens to be an MVC4 project, and let's build it. Control Shift B. It was successful. Let me show you the output window. You can see one of the things it did is it pulled down all kinds of NuGet packages. Yes, we're using NuGet. Uh, if Visual Studio complains about this, it could be because your settings aren't right. So go here, Tools, Library Package Manager, Package Manager Settings, and make sure that you have the Allow NuGet uh, checkbox checked. I did build and run cleanly, so we are ready to go. Notice in the project that there are two HTML files down here, a Tests and a To-Dos HTML. That's because uh, DocCode is actually two applications, a To-Do application and a suite of tests that teach Breeze that we call the Teaching Tests. Now we're going to start with the To-Do app, We'll select it, and then we'll go Control F5 to view it without debugging. There's no point in debugging this at this stage. So I go, and you see a flurry of activity. What was happening behind the scenes is that uh, it created a to-dos database and initialized it with some sample data. Now we're starting here with the to-do app because the basic breeze chapters of the documentation describe this application, so it's a good idea to run it first to lock in the visuals. The app began immediately with a query for all open to-dos. You'll learn that the query uh, has a filter to exclude our archived to-dos, so when we click here, uh, we get all of the archived to-dos. That removes the filter, and then I click again and the filter goes back on. And you can see some toast appearing back here that's telling us what's going on as we do it. Let's uh, add a new to-do, say Learn Breeze, and we'll hit Enter, and notice that it's saved immediately here. We've got one saved, and it put it down here um, uh, in the list where we could edit it. Maybe we want to say uh, Learn Breeze Now, and uh, I can edit again, and you can see it saved um, immediately. I just hit Enter there. Maybe we finished our wine, so we can uh, mark it done, and uh, you notice it's saved again. Let's archive these two items, the two ones that we have done. We'll click the Archive to Completed, and they disappear, and you see that two items were saved. We saved uh, the, both of them in the same bundle, in the same trip to the server, as a single transaction. You can see that kind of functionality again up here. If we mark all as complete, that's two of them saved. Unmark them all, that's two saved again. Let's try adding another to a new to-do, but this time we won't put any description in. We're just going to hit Enter, and we see that we can't get away with that because the description is required. All right, let's go nuts with a really ridiculously long to-do and see how that flies. Nope, there's a 30-character limit. So uh, we can just try this one, and that flies. Uh, now, I, this is not something that we're actually going to mark done or archive. We just assume delete it, so we'll click this little X over here, and goodbye. Finally, there's a little purge link over here to clear all the data out, and a little reset link to set things back exactly as they were when we started. Please click that reset before leaving the application, so that when you run the tests later, uh, you won't break them, because they count on there being some to-do data. The JavaScript for the to-do app is in the scripts folder, which is here. And by the way, this basic Breeze to-do sample app is virtually identical to the freestanding sample elsewhere in the documentation. It's embedded in doc code as a convenience bin because it's the app that goes with the basic Breeze chapters. You can find out more about the sample to-do app elsewhere. Basic Breeze simply concentrates on a single file of the application, and that's here in the services folder. It's the data service. Now that you know where to find it, though, I want to move on to the other application. 
One of the best ways to learn Breeze is to probe it with automated tests. That's why we wrote a battery of tests to parallel the documentation. We select the test HTML here and control F5 again because we don't need to debug it. And it'll bring it up in the default browser, which at the moment is set for IE in my case. And it starts running all the tests. As they're going, you can see that they're grouped in modules here. The modules are the first side, like the basic to-do tests. And it, it passed. You can see the little green bar up there. And, and there are a goodly number of tests. I guess there are close to 100. And they're, like I said, they're grouped in modules to make that a little easier to grasp. And, and up here you'll find a combo box, at least I hope you will, sometimes it disappears in IE, that allows you to, um, to, to just scope in on a particular module. So I can just run the basic to-do tests here, for example. Just to show that we can, let's do the rest of this show in Chrome. That's Chrome, and it's already run them. Let's run the basic to-do tests again. There they are. When you click on one of these test results, uh, it expands to show you the asserts that were part of that test. Uh, this one has one assert that it did indeed get all of the to-dos, and there are six of them. Some of them have a lot more asserts, like uh, this one here, change the to-do property, raises KO property changed. And it just does a series of verifications that each of the different flavors of to-do when changed do in fact cause knockout notification event. We don't have to filter with a combo box. We can get quite granular, like I can come up here to the address bar and say filter, if I just spell it correctly, filter equals KO, and it will get me all the tests that have KO somewhere in the test name. Uh, I can do something similar uh, and say I want the query test um, modules and if I spell it correctly, query, I get uh, all of the different flavors of query test modules. Okay, so that's how you run them. Running them is great, but the real value is looking at the actual test code itself. Back to Visual Studio, where we'll find the tests, their JavaScript tests, JavaScript QUnit tests. So they're here in our scripts folder under the tests folder. Now the chapters and topics of the documentation map pretty much directly to the test modules. So the basic breeze chapters align with the basic to-do tests. A little bit of the save to-do tests, but for the most part they're all in the basic to-do tests. And every query example in the documentation is in the query tests. And the validation topic aligns with the validation tests. You get the idea. Here's a quick overview of one of the uh, teaching test modules. It, they're all pretty similar in this regard. They tend to start with a preparation section uh, at the top, mostly setting up convenience variables like core and entity model and breeze uh, to give you access to the components and uh, maybe uh, some configuration setting so that the, the breeze in our test is ready to run with Knockout and Web API. Then you scroll down a little bit and you'll find a module uh, which has a name. And that's the name that appears in the, uh, in the test results to the left with a colon after it that we were searching for in the combo box. And then if there follow the, the series of tests that belong to that module, like this one, Get All To-Dos Condensed where the focus of attention is on running this query to get all the to-dos. Now, often happens that what we want to assert about that is just that we got something, so it's, it's nice to have a helper like Verify Query here. And this helper, like many helpers, is sitting over in the Test Funds module. And then sometimes a module has its own, you know, module-specific helpers. So if you scroll to the bottom, there's a good chance you'll find some there. That should get you going. Thanks for watching. Time for you to explore the doc code on your own. Have fun and have fun building with Breeze.